Maybe. What's going on guys? Jeff here. I'm Non. And we are Bites and Barbells. So welcome to the new channel. Channel is going to be all about obviously bites, comes from the name. It's going to be all about foods. So you're going to be seeing the filthiest cheat meals, food challenges maybe, and you know. It's going to be training, okay? So obviously we're both PTs. There's also Habib, which is going to be here. He's not actually here right now, but he, um, he's, I don't know, does he have food poisoning? I don't know, he's, he's sick, he's sick, he's just not here. Um, so yeah, future though, so yeah, he worry. will be in the next one. So expect to see a lot more tips and, I don't know, form techniques about your workouts, exercises, so just workouts for you guys to follow if you don't know what workouts to do for yourself. For today's video, and same thing for food, so I know a lot of you guys, or even myself and Non, we love to watch a lot of those food challenges, ASMR type food videos, so we're going to be doing the same thing for you guys and yeah, yeah going to be expanding out and a lot of the different food places in Sydney hopefully all around Australia soon then who knows maybe around the world in the future so yeah, maybe know. maybe if our uh, COVID goes away yeah. but yeah hopefully you guys stick around okay um, we're going to start, hopefully you know from here on we're going to start growing we're going to be going like Jeff said around to you know a lot of different food places here in Sydney um, and then see what happens. Hopefully we'll start traveling, going to different states, going to, you know, Queensland, Melbourne. That's it. I don't know what's in Perth. You know, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, like, Habib's not here at the moment, but he will be here soon. Habib's just um, this guy here. He's a big dude. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you'll stick around. Until then. Alrighty, so for today, what we've got planned is, I know we said we don't do the whole bro science thing, but we're gonna make it a little bit bro for today for you guys. And for the first cinematic video is gonna be a typical arm workout. So you're gonna get filthy pumps, Bicep juicy triceps. biceps and triceps. <laughs> and after that, a post-workout cheat meal, cheat feed for today. Our first place that we're going to today is actually, what is it, Teleballs? Yeah. Teleballs dessert bar. And it's so, really fitting because it's Nutella day today, so. Can they see that? You can see that. Okay. That's all we're going. So, it's just like a massive Nutella based dessert place in Sydney. It's got all the donuts, waffles, crepes, all Nutella, all chocolate. So it's going to be freaking yeah. amazing. So if anyone knows me, okay, I don't know about you, but I love Nutella. Like Nutella is like my go-to. Nutella um, and you Biscoff. Know, oh, yeah, Biscoff. They have Biscoff. Goat. Oh, mate. All right, I'm keen then. <laughs> so um, that's where we're going. So we're going to train, okay. We're just going to go to the gym around the corner. In the near future, we're going to be also, we didn't mention this earlier, we're going to also be going to a different gym. So each vlog will be a different gym. So if you guys haven't, you know, branched out to different gyms here in Sydney, so each time you see a video, it'll be at a different gym. Each video, different gym, different dessert bar, or Food. let's say cheat place. Yeah. But like for today, we're going to be training arms. So stay tuned. See you then. All right, so yeah, like we said, arm workout, and we're gonna be heading to the gym in about half an hour, an hour or so. So we are getting our pre-workout meals in with our trusty My Muscle Chef. So Non loves his lemon garlic chicken. No, today I've got a Cajun chicken with dirty rice for the dirty pumps. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> um, actually, wanna cop yourself some of these meals, grab them online. I've got a code for you guys, so Jefferson20 will save you 20 bucks off your first order. Got that. Best meals, so convenient, so tasty, best macros, so make sure you get your hands on them. So what do you do? Just smack them in the microwave, mate? So take that case off, it's vacuum sealed, always fresh meals. Chuck it in there. I like Chuck it right in. For a minute and a half. And Bob's your uncle. I mean, this is Jeff's here. Sorry, mate. Beauty. Touch my shit. <laughs> What's up, boy? Come here. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> missed it. He's just here for the food, no? Yeah. Beauty. So, another thing that's convenient about Muscle Chef is it's got the barcodes here. So, Non and I and Habib, this is how we kind of stay fairly in shape. <laughs> and fairly. They just, <laughs> just blow out with all the cheat meals that we do. Um, obviously, we just try to do our cheat meals every once or twice a week and not blow out. But every other day, we do track and macros, use MyFitnessPal. 
So, Muscle Chef's got the bike right there, so makes it nice and convenient. Scan it, boom, clicking it, nice and easy. Perfect for anyone that keeps and track the calories, the macros, if you're dieting down, whatever, if you're just eating shit like us. <laughs> it's good to always stay in track, otherwise you just probably blow out and you never know what you're eating. And Got to save those calories. Yeah, tracking gets you, it allows you to save calories for those cheat meals. So. Cool. What's up, boy? This is my meal right here. A little bit different. I like my plain chicken, sweet potato bake, mint, and then Kobe. All right, pre-workout time. I'm just gonna scoop up the pre. Classic Oxy Shred. I got the Raspberry Refresh flavor, limited edition. Limited pretty edition. Sure, pretty sure it's sold out now, so sorry guys. Yeah, we grab last, it off. last tub in, in all of the world. That's it. You can find me, you can have one. There's not much left. Nah, it's about half the tub. We're gonna take it on the drive to the gym, so once we're there, we're just ready to freaking smash it out. Scoop it in there. Feel a little shake, feel a little shake, feel a little shake. Um, yes, okay. not an eye. Actually got a code, so. Okay, we're gonna pop the code, pop the code right here, right here. <laughs> And um, scab yourself 10% off from ahplabs.com.au. We'll see you at the gym. Okay, gym time. Oh, do you know what I haven't done? Beep, boop, beep. Oh, what the hell? Going down. Hey, Jeff. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Priority, mate. I don't know. Oh, okay. okay, so we actually are in um, Anytime Fitness K Market, which is in Central Sydney. Um, if you haven't been here, it's actually pretty sweet. It's a brand new gym, brand new anytime. So I'm not sure if you guys train at any time, but. It's, yeah, it's pretty mint. Pretty good, pretty new. So today, for our first vlog, this is exactly where we're training. So, like I said, if you haven't checked it out, do it. All right guys, so today's arm workout, like we said. Yeah, we're gonna be doing arms, so we're gonna be starting off with triceps, about three exercises triceps, three exercises biceps. And right now what we're doing is just a quick warm up for tries. So classic tricep rope push now. Got real light, as you can see we're only doing 10 kilos. Um, yeah, just focus, focusing more technique and the form, so getting a nice stretch, full squeeze for each rep, trying to get the blood into the muscles, and then we're going to go into some heavier stuff after this. So. so, if you're like me and you get like uh, sore elbows when you start doing heavy exercises, <laughs> really utilize actually warming up, okay? so. If I jump straight in, like a lot of people, obviously a lot of people warm up, but when, you know, you like me and you like to lift heavy, okay, like I feel as though when I lift heavy, I'll get that little bit extra out of it, okay? We'll obviously touch base with reps and stuff later on. I really, I sometimes do it even up to like five like warm up sets before I actually do my first working set. That way I know, like, especially when I do like something like skull crushes, I tend to get like a real sore, like in the elbow. Um, it's only really, really when I do like a skull crush or something like that. So when you're doing your warm up, really utilize it, really, you know, actually warm up. Incline bench. What's the reason for the incline bench? Incline so we can get a bit of a better stretch. So instead of the usual skull crusher where a lot of people go down to the actual skull or forehead, 
So with the incline, we can go a little bit past, so bring our elbows back, so go behind the head instead of just down here. So better stretch all the way up, then better contraction. Ooh, look at that tricep. <laughs> hey! Hey, Let's go! Yo, once again I'm back around, uh, real shit back in style, uh, haters reconcile, uh, I'm so black and proud, first class tickets now, uh, feet all in the eye, uh, everybody looking down, everybody get red when you drown, huh? Look at me, yo. So, second exercise, doing a little bit different to what we did with the skull crushes, this time we're going three sets, 10 to 12 reps. With the skull crushes, you're tapping your, like your long head of your tricep, this one is more your, your short head, one of the things that people do with their push down, once they get to a certain point with their push down, they kind of jerk into that, okay, and they try and lock out the elbows, okay, what you're actually doing there is not actually contracting as much as you can with the tricep, so what you want to do is, when you do the rep, you want to squeeze, and imagine you're kind of, you're flexing, contracting, what you want to do is do that while you're getting to that um, straight point of the rep, so the top end of that rep, what a lot of people also do is they fall out of that, okay, they kind of get to there, and then when they go down the eccentric phase, the negative, what they try, what they actually do is kind of let the weight fall and then catch it. What you want to do is squeeze into that and squeeze out of that, so you can get the most out of it. Work smarter, not harder. Look at me, I'm putting it down, you picking it up. Checking the models, they want us to go to college just so we can be stuck. Go to school to make a living, or teach yourself to make a fortune. Common sense, welcome to the apocalypse, bitch. I'm one of the horsemen. I don't need your endorsement. I don't need reinforcement. Giving you your last morning, cause I'm at my prime. Yeah. I'm at my Next up, we're going to be doing seated overhead French press or overhead press with a dumbbell. Make sure, again, we're trying to go with a full stretch. It's going to be a little bit harder with the dumbbells, but try to get that full range of motion all the way up. Stopping just before lockout to keep that tension right under the long head the whole time. So just about there, trying to push it all the way up. So stopping there, full stretch. Now we've done six to eight reps in the first one, 10 to 12 in the second one. Now we're gonna go a little bit lighter and a little bit higher up, so about 12, 15 reps. So that's what we're doing. Okay, just touching base on what Jeff said, if you want bigger arms. Remember, your tricep, your tricep is two thirds of your arms. So if you want big arms, okay, probably should show Jeff's arms. If you want big arms, remember, train triceps twice as much. Twice as much? Quick maths. Train them every day. Train them every day. <laughs> Arm day every day with Jeff. I'm at my pride. Whoa. Uh, have I gone too far? Do you detect something different? If you look inside my head, would you say something's missing? If you could give all your riches just to say the word, would you risk it? These politicians so old can't tell if the dead where they living. Better ask Kathy Griffin. You know I like to raise stakes. We was always taught to hit the gas. Okay, now we're done with the triceps. What we're moving on to now is biceps, okay? Now, same thing with the triceps, you've got to warm up, okay? So don't just jump in and just grab this thing here, which is 45 kilos. Okay, so don't just jump in the deep end because you'll um, pop your bicep. <laughs> same thing, warm up, okay? Now, warm up set, I like to do like 20 reps, okay? Really feel, push some blood into that, that muscle that you're working. Now, one thing that I noticed, especially with, actually, let's call them gym bros. All the gym bros out there, okay, do biceps. What they do is when they get to a certain point, they kind of rest, okay, not contracting as much as they should. For example, they curl, get to here, and then they rest, okay. My bicep is not stuff all. All you want to do is really feel that muscle, okay. So it's like you're trying to flex every time, okay. Same thing, 20 reps, and then we're going to move on to um, the heavier weight and do six to eight reps and do about three sets. Next up for biceps is going to be a rope cable hammer curls. That's why we're doing hammer curls, neutral grip. 
every bicep exercise or any exercise, you always want to get a forward extension, full range of motion, so all the way down. Imagine you're flexing your tricep at the bottom, and all the way up, squeezing up, imagine you're flexing, like what Nod said, at the top, as hard as you can, so you're not just jacking and coming down, and you're also not doing half reps like that. So all the way up, squeeze, full extension, hands neutral, curl up, squeeze as hard as you can, control on the way down, full extension at the bottom. And for this exercise, so we did six to eight, the heavy set there. Now we're gonna go a bit to the medium weight, medium reps as well, so 10 to 12 reps. Next exercise is just your normal pre-curl. Pre okay, we're using an easy bar. Can you see that? Easy. It's easy. It's actually not easy, it's pretty hard. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> anyway, the easy bar. Like Jeff said, it's not easy. All it is, everyone's doing a pre-curl, mostly everyone. Make sure you set, if you guys have a seat, not all of them have a seat, but make sure you set the seat up right. So, your tricep sits nice and flat, and you're not sitting too low, and you're not sitting too high. With this one, we're only just aiming for like 12 to 15 reps. Nothing special, just make sure you get the full stretch at the bottom, the full squeeze at the top. It's my turn to make history. Here we go. And that concludes our arm session. Pretty much the whole arm session was actually holding this gimbal. Like, this is a brand new gimbal. It's like, if you want an arm pump, just hold these for 40 minutes. Uh, How are you feeling? So wrecked. You keen for arm? Um, keen for the cheat meal, eh? Hey? Keen for the Nutellas. Just gotta go straight to the biceps and triceps. That's the biceps. Nah. <laughs> big arms. Uh, big arms. The, the trick to getting big arms, I wouldn't know, because I don't, anyway, um, is just straight Nutella, straight from the jar. If you don't eat Nutella from the jar, you're missing out. Oh yeah, Nutella gains. Hope you guys liked that workout and took something away from it. And next up is the fun part, so the eating bit. So just finished up at the gym. Now it's the fun part. On you the did, way. Uh, quick outfit change too. Quick, quick oh, outfit. I didn't, but you did. did. <laughs> Got to look fresh for dessert. <laughs> um, white, white shirt for the dessert. <laughs> Don't get Nutella in there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're anyway. heading to uh, what is it? Teleballs? Is it Teleballs? I still can't. Teleballs. Teleballs. Um, the Dulwich Hill ones in Sydney. So we haven't been there. I've actually personally never been to Teleballs. Yeah, have you? Yeah. Right, so we're pretty keen for that. Love Nutella, like we mentioned to you before, and Biscoff, and they have those both. So keen to check out what they have as the menu. And yeah, we'll show you what to get. What are you gonna get, mate? I don't know, but listen how dramatic my blinker is. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a sucker for Nutella, so I might get Nutella. Yeah, like we said, um, it's World Nutella Day, so yeah, definitely a lot of Nutella involved. Yeah, but I'm keen. I'm starving. I'm gonna I might get um, I get a, um. A burger as well. Yeah, so we just yeah. found out on the menu online that that was to do savory stuff, so burgers and think crepes and stuff. So we'll see. All right, stay tuned. We got Jeff here. We're here, and we're yeah. here at right, Tula Balls Dessert. Okay, so. Huge we're menu. here, we're here at Teleballs. Yeah. Okay. Menu looks pretty good. Pretty decent. Honestly don't know what. What are you gonna get Jeff? I don't know yet. Look at that, Nutella Nutella lasagna. Lasagne! Nutella lasagne. 
Okay, this is a different kind of spring rolls. Look at this. Did somebody gotta look at this? Did somebody look at this? <laughs> oh, how's the autofocus? Stretch my hands to you. Life like this is what your life like. Try to live the life right. People really know you push your buttons like type right. This is like a movie, but it's really very lifelike. Every single night, right? Every single fight, right? I was looking at the gram and I don't even like lights. I was screaming at my daddy, told me it ain't Christ like. I was screaming at the referee, just like Mike. Looking for a bright light. Seagull with your life like. Riding on a white bike, feeling like a sight bike. Pressing on the gas. Look at here. He's the official taste tester. The gold NK time now. Cut her open. Slice and doors. Pull her apart. Oh. Can't wait, bro. Alright, time to try the gay time donut. Look at that oh, feeling. Gay time. Look at that feeling. Oh. That's so sweet. Pretty good sweet. Still pretty fluffy. Donut. The cream inside it's not too like it's not too thick, so it's not too sickening, so I rate that. Because if it's too thick I get like well, I, I find that so gross, but this is good. Mm. I don't know what this one is. Strawberry something, strawberry jam. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try and cut it I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> Very good. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> this stuff I don't normally eat because it makes me sick, but worth it. Look at that. 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 Look Kit Kat slider. I don't even know how to tackle this. <laughs> oh. It's gonna have to be a real mess. First impressions? That's so sweet. Oh my god. It's dense combo. Vanilla ice cream, burger buns, chocolate, Kit Kat. We've got a crepe. Burger, crepe. Burger with crepe style. Get it in. That's not weird, but good. Good texture. It's a bit different. It's good though. It's good. Burger and crepe, but burger and crepe. <laughs> right, this is the main event for me. The main event. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure. Kinder Bueno. Who doesn't love a Kinder Bueno? Waffle. Massive waffle. See if we can take this down. Should be pretty sweet though. It's still nowhere near full. Still starving. <laughs> Give it a shot. Try to get everything on there. Oh. Chocolate's like so runny. I mean, hold on to it. All right. Got the Kinder Bueno. Bit of ice cream. Bit of waffle. Oh my god. Actually, it looks good. Oh, wow. That's very thick. <laughs> That's very thick. I reckon it's going to be a struggle to get down, but it tastes real good. Kick out. Crepe. That's what it is. Woo. I don't know if it's like Nutella on there as well, but I think it is. Anyway, got it. Ooh, give it a shot. Oh. Got to get that Kit Kat, bro. I'm having trouble. I'm having a lot of trouble. Yeah, Kit Kat, ice cream. Ice cream's a bit melted, but she's all good. How is it? The ice cream makes it good. I will look. Actually, less sickening, eh? The Nutella bar. Oh, love Nutella. Thick. Mm. It's actually really good. Got the Nutella Teller ball. Let's see it. Let's see what's inside. Oh. 
How juicy that is. That's all that was left of mine. Those two, but Jeff smashed all of his. So that half is mine. <laughs> And, uh, little secret, I'm lactose intolerant, so like all that shit's gonna come back up. <laughs> all that shit, get it? Uh, uh. Alright guys, so just finished up a terrible here at Dulwich Hill, Sydney. And how'd you find it, mate? Oh, <laughs> I'm so full. <laughs> about to throw up, mate. Look at that. It's food, baby. And then, let's see, let's see if I still got a little... Oh, there's still no. some in there, mate. <laughs> Always wow. got the shreds. Okay, so today we trained, okay, and then after that, we came into Teleballs. Um, what was your favorite so, yeah. out of them, mate? Mine was probably, oh, I don't know. I had this like burger crepe thing, it was like actually pretty decent. Yeah. Um, so but like the Kit one was pretty good too. Yeah. I like my little Kit Kat slider ice cream sandwich thing. That was sandwich thing on point. But yeah, um, that's. That's pretty much it for today, but we are obviously going to try and do one every week um, and get the ball rolling, so That's yeah. It. So weekly vlogs coming in, weekly training video, so next time we're going to try, like what we said, a start a video in a different gym and another cheat meal for next time, probably most likely burgers next week. So See what happens. get keen for that. So thanks for tuning in guys, make sure to subscribe and catch you in the next one. Until next time. <laughs> yeah.